All right, my name is Magistrate Woodman. We're here today to hear the court case of Victoria Police versus Amanda Thorne. All right, any outbreaks or yelling within my courtroom? So, prosecution, please come forward and present your case. Oh, not present your case. I'd like you to. Uh, is that uh, the defendant? Oh my god, is that a knife? Oh, what the? What is going on around here? What the fuck is going on? Jesus Christ. What did you walk into, Sheriff? I don't know. I don't know. Someone had a knife. She's got a knife out, Your Honor. She had a knife out? She's got a knife out of her hand, Your Honor. Oh. Take photo for everybody. Alright, make sure that that, uh, door's locked. If I, if I may, um, yes. yesterday, um, we prosecuted this individual, and I believe you were, in fact, the, uh, the magistrate, uh, for that case. She yes. brought a knife into court then yes. as well. Yes, yeah, she did. Just like to bring that to the She's court. got a bit of a, bit of a knife a History, you know. Can you, can you step yes. away, Mr. King? I don't want to punch you in the face. Well, you're right, this, this right, defendant has got a bit of a history with knives. Well, wow. she brought a knife to the courtroom. Twice. Oh my oh, lord. Oh my goodness. This is second time. Victoria this, Police, this contain the yourself. Can we, can we have yeah, someone from Ambulance Victoria maybe yeah, assist yeah, yeah. this person, then oh, we can oh, continue with the trial? I'm going to the hospital. Did you grab the knife already? Don't believe. Negative. We've got no Ambulance Victoria on, so. Oh dear. Lucky there's a hospital across the road. Mm-hmm. Very. All right, I'm going to confiscate that knife. You said you're leaving. Now you're back again. Can you fuck off? It's locked. I think we need to get metal detectors. I think it could be a, a good suggestion, Nana. Okay. It's so mean. Use your big forehead. This is very unorthodox. Don't know how to proceed with uh, the case if uh, the defendant... <laughs> He's bringing weapons in here. Wow. This is the second time today she's charged him with a knife, or advanced towards him with a knife. Your Honor, I'm not going out the fact that yesterday she came in with a knife as well. Yes, yes, I remember. Two knives. Yeah. One was, one was, one was evidence, the other one she brought in. Oh, I've got I've got a second evidence knife on me as well oh, at the moment. No. Four knives. That's that's four knives. Maybe maybe keep this one in cops. Let's continue. Wait, is she the defendant? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, knife there you go. fetish. Oh, always told me never to go down. You know. <laughs> All right, let's continue, folks. As I was saying before, my name is Magistrate Woodman. We're here today to uh, hear the court case of Victoria Police versus Amanda Thorne. I don't tolerate any yelling or outbreaks within my courtroom. Any breaches of this will be met with contempt of court. Prosecution, please step forward. Identify yourself, name and rank, what charges you're bringing forth for me today, and what evidence you may be bringing. Hello, Your Honour. My name is Senior Constable Gavin Feck. The charges are bringing forth today are uh, assault police, armed robbery, engage in a police pursuit, and possession of a weapon, non projectile, without legal authority. I see. Uh, what evidence do you have for me? Uh, the evidence we have for you today is the knife used in the robbery, um, the proceeds of what we believe to be that crime. Um, and also a uh, photograph of my uh, system showing uh, a number plate hit on the vehicle she was driving. I don't have any photos of that one as there were some issues um, once we were processing that vehicle, Your Honor. Oh, I see. Okay, not a problem. Uh, please uh, give that evidence to my sheriff and they can bring it to me.
with it. Uh, will it be will it be your own testimony, or do you have any witnesses as well today? Um, we do have one witness today, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Constable Andy King. Very um, well. Who is there, Your Honor? Excellent. I'll, I'll take a seat, please. You one more thing. Oh, sorry. Yeah. God damn, my housemates making fucking banging noises. Excellent, thank you. All right, defence, Miss King. Uh, sorry, Miss Thorne. Please uh, step forward. Uh, would you like me to read out these charges that you have been uh, presented with today? Oh, uh, yes, please, Your Honour. Oh, excellent. All right, so the first charge is assault police. That would be attacking a police officer with an unarmed strike without downing them. Armed robbery is any type of robbery or any kind of robbery where the person was carrying a weapon, regardless if it was used. The possession of a weapon or non-projectile without legal authority is possession of bats, knives, or anything that doesn't uh, have a projectile in it, that which would be a gun, uh, without a lawful reason. And finally is evading police, uh, which is attempting to pull away from police after being signaled to stop. Pulling away is going to be defined by deliberately increasing speeds to increase the distance between the person being pursued and the pursuing vehicle. Uh, so in regards to these charges, um, which, would you like to plead not guilty for all, or do you have a selection? Um, I'll just plead guilty to the uh, um, assault charge, Your Honour. The evade charge? Uh, the assault. Oh, the assault. Right, okay. And everything else is not guilty? Uh, everything else is not guilty. Assault job. Oh, okay. Sorry, your voice box is a little bit crackly. Um, not a problem. All right, please take us. Oh, do you have any evidence in regards to your case today, or is it just going to be your testimony? Just my own testimony, Your Honor. All right, fantastic. Please take a seat. All right, Victoria Police, uh, step forward. Present your case. You have eight minutes. Yes, Your Honor. So, uh, at approximately 5.30, Your Honor, I responded to a silent alarm that was going off at the service station off Great Ocean Highway as you come into Bendigo from the east side. Um, as I arrived to the scene, Your Honor, uh, I saw a motorbike outside and the defendant, uh, while holding a knife, ran out from the building. Uh, got onto the motorcycle and took off. I signaled for her to stop. She failed to do so, and we engaged in a pursuit. Uh, the pursuit ended rather promptly uh, once other addition additional units had arrived on scene. As the defendant uh, stacked it, uh, we managed to apprehend them. In the process of apprehending the defendant, they uh, had a knife in their hands. They were approaching. Was it Andy King? Uh, and so they were tased and placed in custody. Once in custody, Your Honor, we had taken them to the police station in Mount Thomas. We had taken the offender to hospital. And when in the cell processing the uh, defendant after I had taken off their cuffs, they proceeded to, twi to strike me twice in the face with their fists, Your Honor. Uh, and so they were placed back into cuffs for the remainder of the interaction. Um, you'd like to call uh, Andy King to the stand. Do you promise to not mislead the court under threat of perjury? Yes, sir. All right, please proceed prosecution. Yes, uh, Mr. King, could you please introduce yourself to the court? Absolutely. Uh, my name is Andy King, and I am a special constable with Victoria Police. Wonderful. Just two quick questions for you. Um, did you approximately 5.30 today uh, attach to a pursuit involving a motorbike? Yes, that's correct. Yes, indeed. And could you identify for the court who the driver of that motorbike was? Absolutely, that would be the defendant who um, 
yeah, was evading on foot from that motorbike after a um, a crash in the quarry. Yep, and did the defendant, uh, did the defendant, in fact, pull a knife on you? She did, in fact, pull a knife. Um, I provided a number of clear instructions to the defendant to stop walking towards me and to put the knife down. Uh, she failed to comply with that direction and as a result was um, subdued with a taser. Thank you. That'll be all, Mr. King. Thank you. So, Your Honour, I'd like to think that um, for all the charges she has pled guilty for, that our case is rather rather solid and she's pled guilty to them anyway. Um, in regards to the assault police charge that she has pled not guilty to, now, as it was only myself in the uh, holding cells at the police station, the only one around at the time, uh, there is no witness testimony to be given. There is no evidence aside from the hospital records uh, when I went to go check that out, Your Honour. But I would like to highlight the defendant's propensity to violence as only yesterday they were charged with another violent offence against police and they have brought another knife to court today, Your Honour. Now the prosecution yes. rests their case. Alright, thank you very much. Uh, please uh, take a seat. Alright, defence, it's now your turn. Uh, you have eight minutes to present your case, so keep in mind you have pled guilty to some of these charges. Um, so you probably only wish to uh, bring forth uh, your not guilty ones. Um, yes, Your Honour. So, regarding the incident uh, before he had reached the police station and there was a crash and were apprehended, I had my hands up putting the knife down and I was compliant then I was tasered unlawfully I believe uh, and then I was in I never laid hands on the officer um, as this is a he said, he said moment um, but I never laid hands on the officer I see what right, does the uh, defence rest? a uh, defence rest alright so please take a seat all right, I'm going to be adjourning in my chambers for a couple of minutes to uh, have a look at the evidence and uh, look at uh, both testimonies. Uh, court is in recess. All right, the um, MPI here is not working. I'll have to mention that to Gavin later on. It's a brand new knife too, hasn't even been used. Um, Alrighty. Alright, so uh, as the defendant's already uh, pled guilty to armed robbery, possession of weapon and evade, obviously she will be found guilty. In regards to the assault police, uh, based on the testimony from Victoria Police and the history that is being shown by the defendant, especially turning up with another knife again today, as per yesterday's court case, I will be finding the defendant guilty. Uh, Victoria Police, what is your suggested uh, charges, uh, the limitations you wish to have today in regards to um, sending this person to jail? Well, Your Honour, um, considering especially that they've um, sort of disgraced uh, this court by bringing another weapon to court, um, I do believe that um, it should be mostly up to your own um, decision. However, I would um, like to petition for a higher range uh, of punishment as previously, um, even yesterday, uh, with the case you oversaw, we only uh, asked for a medium range punishment. Uh, yes. and yet the defendant since then has shown absolutely no remorse and absolutely zero chance or zero steps have been taken to better themselves, Your Honor. Yes, I'd definitely be agreeing on that one, especially with the uh, the knife bringing into the court the second time. Uh, so I would be. Uh... Sentencing the defendants to 150 weeks within Port Phillip. My ruling is final. 
Order's dismissed. Not sure if I've got that evidence for you. Yeah. Um, also, the case that was booked... There was a case booked that was during this one. It's been cancelled, and the next one it's been rescheduled oh, at 50 past. So in 25 oh, minutes, so I believe. That, is that for me, or is that for someone else? Um, uh, miss... I think it was... It's me. Oh, okay. Well, I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Victoria Police Officer didn't realise it was a court case on now. No, and he had that's, to... that's fine. I'm sure, um... Maybe it's time to start using the second courthouse. Get on. Would like your evidence back. Um, yeah. yeah, apparently there's another court case on. Have a quick look. Oh, it got removed. No worries. Another court case down. 